Hey, what's up, Survivors? Paul Soros Jr. here. It's October 10th, 2012. And yes, indeed, XCOM Enemy Unknown is now officially available. I ended up downloading on uh, Steam a few days ago, preloading it. So then when it went live October 9th, yesterday at 12.01 a.m., I was right there to snag it and give it a try. I played for a couple of hours just to get my feet wet before I start my, my official let's play or campaign if you will and get you guys involved and i'll explain more here along the way let me load up my um my last save which is right here operation sacred breath alien abductions in cairo egypt xcom is responding so i will give you kind of a, a general overview and show you some of the tactical battles right now and then um talk a little bit about my my let's play that i want to do and give you an idea of how you can get involved by having a soldier named after you. Um, but first, let me just give you the quick breakdown. So essentially, XCOM is a uh, is an is a force, multinational military force, uh, responding to alien abductions and invasion. Or, although we're, I guess we're really not sure what the aliens are doing, but they're they're out on Earth. And this force was uh, organized by several nations, and now it's you're basically put in charge of them. So you have a base to manage, and we'll get to that in a minute. And you also have tactical battles that you can take control of your military units, your soldiers, and they're more than just military units. This is more than just a like an RTS where you've got nameless individuals running around a map and shooting stuff and getting blown up these guys you will care about you'll care about them quite a bit they have names and personalities and they'll, some of them may be with you for long periods of time um, they'll gain in rank and sadly many will die <laughs> under your command <laughs> so you have an attachment to them and you want to keep them alive now this is turn-based so right now nothing is happening on this particular screen in the tactical battle there are aliens out there we've just landed in our space ranger which is here behind oh there it is and uh just like the original from 1994 you had a space ranger and um the difference between the 1994 version and this one is that you could have up to like 12 guys in your space ranger starting out and this one you have four i've upgraded to five so, uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to get as many soldiers on the battlefield as I would have in the 1994 edition. Which, by the way, I've played to a death. One of my favorite games of all time. Easily, I have more fond memories of that game than just about any, uh, with the exception of one or two. And But I'll try to keep my nostalgia from ruining my experience here, because I'm not sure how this is going to stack up, and I don't want to overshadow the fun of this game. And and um, the newness of it, <clears throat> the evolution of the genre of turn-based strategy to get in uh, you know, my way of, of enjoying this. So anyway, enough of that. I'll talk more about that during the actual Let's Play. I just want to give you an idea of how this is played. So turn-based, here are my guys. We start here, and now we've got to go uncover the aliens because they're out there somewhere. We don't know where they are. And um, we move our characters like so. So as you can see here, I've got this moving my mouse around and it's showing me where I can go, where I can move, I can dash. Um, I have basically two moves. And I'm going to move this guy up right now. Down the left-hand corner, this guy has got a nickname. His name is Santa's Yaches, Yax, Jacques Fournier. So multi multinational force here. So I'm going to get some names that I cannot pronounce. He's obviously a, uh, uh, looks French, I guess, yuck. So here I am, I run, I've run up to this particular, uh, we don't know what this is, some kind of alien uh, craft or something, and I've used up one of my moves. There's a flag here, this is called the, the unit flag, and as you can see, the guys that I haven't moved still have two moves left. So these two little flags right here, these arrows mean you've got two moves. So I've moved him up here, I now have one simple math, I'm good like that. And now I'm going to switch to Pitbull, who has... Well, his name is first last because I was testing... <laughs> I was testing how the name was going to look, and because the game changes it in certain locations. Um, because I'm getting ready to get you guys involved, if you're interested, by using your names. And there's a sign-up thread and a forum in my forum at punchwood.com, where you can go ahead and sign up if you want to try to get involved. All right, I'm just going to dash right here forward. Dashing means you use up both of your movement um, pips. 
And see, now he cannot do anything else. The other one still can do some things like Overwatch. I'm going to put this guy. He's my machine gunner, right? <coughs> he's my rocket launcher, man. I don't think I want to put him in, in um, Overwatch. I have n I don't know what he's capable of with that thing yet. I haven't tried him. He's brand new. So I'll put this guy in Overwatch. All right, Thornier, go in Overwatch. So Overwatch, you fire on the first enemy that moves into your line of sight at a small aim penalty. It's good to do. Have a couple of guys on Overwatch in case the enemy saunters into your view. Um, your sniper is great for that. But you can't move and go to Overwatch without, <coughs> without a certain skill. I do not have that skill yet. Okay, so generally that's what I do. So I've moved my troops around, and now I'm going to end my turn. Now, the aliens don't move until I press a button. Now it's alien activity. Now they take their turn. I don't know where they are. They probably don't know where I am unless the AI cheats and knows exactly where I am. But I don't think so. All right, so now it's my turn again. There were no aliens spotted. I'm going to... Move. Target acquired. Here we go. We've got two aliens right here looking for coins on the street. So now Pitbull, first last, has spotted aliens. Now he's moved out of cover. And you can see when I move my mouse around uh, certain obstacles in the game, like cars and walls, it shows me the shield, <clears throat> meaning that is cover. A half shield means it's only half uh, as valuable as cover, so you don't have as much protection behind that particular uh, feature of the map, so you're better off being in full cover. Um, I'm very exposed here. The aliens saw me. They moved out of my view because they were probably on some kind of reaction, some kind of reaction movement stuff that I'm still not completely um, familiar with yet, but I'm just going to get out of the way. I don't want to be... I'm a, I'm a sitting duck here. I'm going to pull back in fact, I'm going to go over here to this side. We're going to try to flank them. But at least we know location of these guys. So and I'm going to bring him over here. I'm going to bring Santa. Santa is my medic, by the way. And I've given them different colored armor to identify them on the field. So they have certain classes. My sniper is in black. Medic is in white. Our rocket man is in red. And my assaults wear yellow armor. Then you can customize that in the, in the uh, troop customization thingamajiggers. So, all right. Um, I would really like to get my sniper on Overwatch. I'm going to bring this guy up a little closer. So I'll put him on Overwatch. They're pretty far for him to spot. I'll put you on Overwatch, although he's got... Oh, that's a rocket launcher, man. Yeah, I'm not crazy about putting him in Overwatch, but... And this guy is just in cover here. I'm going to sit right here and wait. And I don't have the skill where my sniper can move two times. So I'm just going to end the turn here, and hopefully they'll come to us. Oh! Okay, what alien was that? Good question. So they're trying to use... These little sectoids is what those little skinny monkey guys are like. Oh, no. And they're trying to get, like, a mind control, I think. I have not been mind controlled yet in this edition of, of XCOM, but I have been mind-controlled in the old edition, and it stinks. They take control of your guys, and they start shooting each other. Alright, I will run over here. Oh, this is... Okay, this is my sniper. I'm gonna just put him on Overwatch, where he is, and I'm gonna try to flank get my rocket man over here. And dashing is a run, and, you, and it takes up two moves. Okay, I have not spotted anyone yet. You can kind of pan the camera around here and get better angles. Now, my assault has a running gun, and I probably should be using this now. Now, he does spot the enemy. There he is, right there. And he's doing that mind meldy thing. Let's, let's go see if we can get a better look at him. Yeah, he's trying something. They can either boost up their own guys, or they can do stuff to you. So now I'm going to take a shot at him. him. So I can see that it's gonna it's a 66% um, chance to hit this guy and a 10% critical. It does up the six damage. I have laser rifles now. This is something that I had to research, and I'll get into that later. In the base, we have um, laboratories, we have scientists and engineers. So they research this technology. I can now use it and and, pur and and purchase or manufacture my own laser rifle. So this is my first fight with a laser rifle. Let's give it a try. Nice. Out of the game. Out of the game. Punched his ticket. What was that? I don't know. So 
So now he is down. Excellent. There's one more crawling around out there. Now this guy's all out of moves. Not going to have any reaction fire either. So I'm going to try to get my medic over here. Okay. I'm not dashing, so I will be able to put him in overwatch. My two laser rifle guys over here. Put him in overwatch. I'd like to split them up a little bit. but And let's move... James Evans over here, my saw. Oh, you know, he's got a shotgun, so he really needs to get close to use that. Okay, that was my last move, so now they're... They're falling back. They're falling back, okay. Oh, wait, are there more? Oh, no. Okay, we've got some on this side, too. So who sees this guy? Someone's got him. Oh, excellent. Evans, but does my sniper have him? No, my sniper does not have him. I thought I had squad sight on this guy. I can't move and shoot with the sniper at the same time, so let's just go back to Evans. Um, the rocket launcher is nice. You can actually jump, climb over some of these obstacles if there's something to climb. Now I moved my rocket launcher guy to on the other side of the wall, which wasn't such a good idea. All right, we have a run-in gun with this guy, which means he can uh, go two moves and fire, I believe. Right? Let's see. What does this say? Enables you to fire but not use items after dashing. Okay, so I can dash up and then fire. And I guess, Moving I, to firing position. I, guess I just did it. Okay. <laughs> so except when dashing. I think I can go here and maybe get a shot at him. He's behind cover. Let's try it anyway. We should have frag grenades too if you want, but you can only do so much for loading out. I don't even have a beat on him. I'll go on overwatch in case he moves. He's behind cover, but we're going to try to flank him. Unfortunately, there's aliens on the side. Okay, let's go back to Evans. Maybe I can get a shot at him. 22%. That's not good odds. Um, unless I run and gun, I might be able to get a little closer. Hunt him down. Run and gun is an assault feature. Assault, uh, alright, 42 is not bad, I'll give it a try. Got him. Oh, he's got the shotgun, right. Nailed it! Okay, so now I'm going to bring my rocket man back. I was going to dash over here, because we've got those other two aliens on this side trying to flank us. Although it looks like they were just trying to get away. Put him on overwatch. And end my turn. So there's all sorts of uh, various um, I guess events that the aliens will uh, incite. So this one is uh, this one's alien abduction, so you have to kind of react to these, and you're going to have multiple choices. So as you're in your base, you have uh, different countries that will implore you to come and help them, and you have to make decisions based on um, well the reward that the country may give you, uh, the threat level, and obviously the difficulty of each mission. So there's going to be all sorts of different missions. There's urban missions like this one, abduction, there's rescue, search and rescue, there's escort, and then there's uh, UFOs that you can shoot down and you have to go investigate. And all the while you're shooting these enemies and you're, you're collecting resources or, or alien artifacts that you can bring back to your base and study. And as soon as we get this abduction... Oh! Let's try to I think I heard something. Now the terrain is almost, I think it's fully destructible. Or, Take it fire. Oh gosh, okay. So he sees me. I guess through the windows. Alright, I'm not seeing what's here. Oh, there's a, is that a window? It's a window. Alright, where is... So we could try flanking. I know there's another one in there. 56 with a laser. Yeah, that's pretty decent. 
You missed. Damn it. Right. Macintosh, my sniper. Um, I'm going to bring him over here. I cannot fire this weapon. Unfortunately, he gets a really good chance to shoot him. I wonder if I could switch to my handgun and take a pop shot with this. We can try. It only does two damage, but... Alright. He ain't dead, but he's hurting. I dash. That's really close. And my running gun is on a, a cooldown. I don't think I want to dash all the way up there. Um, I wonder if I can go here and get a shot. Oh, this is a shotgun. I've got to get a lot closer than that. Oh, he's got the stunny thing too. So maybe... See, this is going to be... this. Alright, well, let's just do it. It's just for demonstration, right? Okay, so he's going to hide right here. And now this guy has... Oh, wait, maybe I can get a shot at him. 47%. I hope I don't hit my own man. Um, does this mean I'm going to fire a rocket? Oh, no, the rocket is on my back. So this could be a machine gun. I haven't used this guy yet, but let's try it. Looks like a machine gun. Oh, I like. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I like the machine gun. That was cool. What's this goo? So, based on your performance on these missions, um, you will get further funding. You will make either... Uh, uh, can I go through here? There's, uh, there's a window here, isn't there? All right. They're either going to make someone happy or you're going to make someone unhappy. So, if you don't respond, then uh, a country's going to get angry with you and um, they might pull funding eventually. And, it's, and when we get to the base management, it's kind of a critical that you have money. Um, every, there's a lot of things that cost, pretty much everything costs money. Building facilities, making new weapons, you hear that? buying soldiers. So you don't want to lose all of your funding. So there's a lot of things to manage. Not just It's not just the tactical battles. And I don't know if I'll have a chance to show you the base stuff yet, but uh, maybe so. Here, let's move my sniper up. I believe those are all windows. I should be able to see. I'm not really familiar with all the architecture here. All right, we're going to do a running gun, and we're going to run in. Hunt him down. And I wonder if I can stun this guy. Where's my stunner? I don't think this guy has a stunner. I have to check. He's definitely in there. So let's run to cover here. And I don't see him. Not cool. Not cool. I will put on Overwatch in case he moves into our sight. I want to bring my machine gunner up and potentially flank on this side. That's a dash. Oh, wait, wrong guy. All right, I've got Santa Fournier. Um, I'll try to flank with Fournier around this way. Bring my machine gunner up. Where is he? I want to show you some destruction here with this uh, rocket launcher eventually. I'll put him on overwatch in case this alien tries to move. I think that's good enough. Is he on the ceiling? He's blowing something up. Yeah, it looks like he's up on the second floor or something. How do I change... Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, there's here's the roof. Something just got blasted there. So it's a, it's a very slow-going game. Um, the original XCOM is extremely difficult. I'm going to do another running gun. Who is this guy? And if you weren't oh, cautious, man. you've got to have Overwatch. You've got to protect your troops and keep them behind cover. You've really got to uh, you know, take your time if you want to survive because it's a hard game, and, and the original was very unforgiving. You could have a guy that lasted 10 missions and um, gain a bunch of experience and get really, you know, far better than, um, than he was when he was a rookie, but then you could lose him in a heartbeat. One, one grenade from an, uh, an alien or one, or even friendly fire or something goes sour, then uh, your, your veteran is, is dead meat. Now this guy is up above, and I need to try to find some stairs or way to the second floor. 
Or maybe it's up in these shelving units. All right, I don't see. I'm just gonna. All right, let's just try to speed this up. If this is just a practice game, if I lose anyone here, it's no big deal. Um, let's just move up to the store. <coughs> There is a classic mode you can play in this, or a normal mode. A classic mode is very difficult from what I understand, just like the original game. Did I open that door? And you can also play on Iron Man, which means there's no reloading. <laughs> I'm going to put you on Overwatch. My sniper... I should really get him up high. If this, is there a way to get on the roof? Usually, if there is, it'll give you an indication that you can climb somewhere or something. It doesn't look like you can get on this roof. So I'm just going to bring him in. And we still got his pistol. Darn it. No, 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 no. Okay. I think that's everybody. Not in cover here, which is kind of a bummer, but i just put him in Overwatch. If an alien moves into our site, we might be able to get a pop shot at him. All right, they're shooting through the walls. Right over here. So I guess they're on the outside, looking in. And I need to get some eyeballs on them. You. Evans, he's my rookie. Move up. Still nothing. This one's a tricky one. So I intend to do a Let's Play of this, and I'm going to play on um, Classic Iron Man. And what I want to do is let you guys, if you're, oops, I wanted to move him, get, uh, rep, have, be represented by a soldier. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons here. <laughs> move you in here. So I have a, a, a sign-up thread at my forum at punch, punchwood.com and there's a link down below in the description if you want to go sign up for a soldier head on over there there's a rules in that page what I need from you um, keep in mind there's already about three pages of people that have already signed up so I may never actually get to you it really depends on my performance in the game and whether or not I die a lot which there's a very good chance of that <laughs> as I was saying this is an extremely difficult game so you might get a soldier you might not but if not then there's still going to be fan fiction i've asked folks to uh that are involved to write a little bio for their characters and um, keep track of like a you know a mission log so they're going to have like an after action report so i'll be controlling their their character with their name and then what whatever happens sound? in the field they will write up a little fiction um, from the perspective of the soldier. I think that's pretty cool. In, in the old days, we used to do that called AAR write-ups, after-action report, and people would write them by hand. Now, you know, now we have um, you know videos to do this stuff. This is kind of before Let's Plays and YouTube. And we used to just have um, you know screenshots. This guy's up on top somewhere. I swear he is. But um, you know, now that we have these videos, we can just share this uh, through video and commentary and but I wanted to get other people to involved to write the fiction since I don't have time to write the fiction. So go ahead, check out that thread if you'd like. It's down below. This guy is sneaksy. All right. Um, you don't want to overcommit. So just like in the old... Oh! I should have done running gun, but it's okay. He does not have any reaction fire, and he is dead meat. Got a shotgun to your face. Mind merge. So that's what they do. Mind merge. Mind of target granting. Okay, so they give each other bonuses. Well, so much for your mind merge. In fact, so much for your mind. He's down. Another day, another okay. successful operation. Success. That's it. So then, uh, Operation Sacred Breath is complete. Alien abductions cleared it out. Killed four aliens. Excellent results. No XCOM operatives were eliminated. So now we head back to base. Oh no. Oh no. Panic in Mexico. <laughs> All right, here's what happened.